What up, y'all? Your boy Mike back again, hitting y'all with one more story time for the day. One more. I want to do one more story time. And this story takes place in 2006. Um, at this time, I'm with my longest relationship girlfriend I ever had, Natasha. Um, uh, this girl was like my everything. I'll get to a whole story about her. That was my like right hand at that time. So I was with her and I was a very happy time in my life. I mean, an immaculate time of my life, probably the happiest I ever been ever. You know what I mean? More than well, I'll put something else which I'll get to another video. But yeah, oh six. Very happy time in my life. I was with her, her cousin Macho, um and and his girl. I forgot her name for the life of me. I don't know it because we didn't really chill like that. You know what I mean? We're just walking. Went down to the bus terminal, like near that area downtown, Fall River, Massachusetts. Went to get some um, refreshments at Dunkin' Donuts and shit like that. And I was going to visit my boy Charlie that work, owned this um, hip-hop shop that sold mixtapes, sneakers, all kind of clothing, incense, perfumes, oils, a whole bunch of shit like that called Vibe, you know, like the magazine, <laughs> and he was a Puerto Rican, half black, half Puerto Rican dude, like my boy Ray, you know, nigga Rican, like Noriega as well, um, that was his nationality, cool as fuck, um, I went to go see him, you know what I mean, so I'm walking, and when we're all walking, nobody else, specifically me, this dirty ass white nigga comes up to me, this white boy, dressed all hood and shit, he comes up to me, and he's like, yo, man, he has this girl, he has this bitch with him, right, he's like, yo, man, I'm wondering if, uh, you got any D's, man, you got any, um, you got any weed or some crack, crack, just like that, got any crack, got any weed, man, this is the me, and he's like, yo, got any, got any crack, got any weed, I got the, and then his girl, I'm like, nah, man, I ain't got nothing, and they're assuming that I have something, his girl is like, we have the money, we have the money. Stop, you know, basically saying, stop lying. We have the money. We'll, we'll pay you. You don't have to lie. We're not the fucking cops. We have the money. That's her demeanor. Like, we have the money. Give us the, the shit, you know? I'm like, nah, man, I ain't got nothing, man. You know, nicely trying to walk away. This nigga is walking with us. Come on, man. I ain't got high in days. I, I, I know you got something, man. Come on. Just, just hook me up. You got any weed, man? Come on, man. I, you got something? At this point, I'm around 21. Yeah, I'm 21. Oh, six. I'm 21. Um, My girl is like 20. Her cousin is about 18, 19. Still in high school. He's still in... Well, I'm fresh out of high school. Um... So was my girl at the time and shit like that. So, yeah, to give you, like, an age difference, this dude is around oh, mid-late 20s. His bitch is around early 20s, I want to say. And he's just telling, yo, man, got something? I need to get my, my fix, man. I need something. And this bitch, again, we, we have the money. Like, um, I'm pissed at this point. I'm like, man, I don't got nothing. If I had something, I would... I, I would happily sell you some product, my nigga, but I'm want to go visit my boy, so back the fuck off. I said it just like that. I was pissed. And he said some smart stuff. What the fuck you talking about, man? I asked him, got any weed or some crack? And you just front on me, man. I'm like, fuck, I ain't got nothing, man. Fuck out of here. This nigga, yo, he pulled me by the, the shirt. I'm wearing this black Notorious B.I.G. shirt, which was fly as fuck. It was a all black shirt with like um like a shiny square like a, like a, like a film piece. I can't. It was like a shiny material. The rest of the shirt was normal cloth, but that square was like a a, a plasticky film type of um, piece of Biggie from like the Life After Death era. I love that shirt, right? He pulled me by the shirt. He was like, 
fuck you talking about, man? I know you got some. Yo, when he did that, I just hauled off and caught him in the right in the face. The hard, I just swung. Knocked him to the concrete. Just dropped his shit. I was pissed. My girl's telling me to calm down. Fucking, his girl's talking shit. My girl Tasha, fiery Puerto Rican chick. She's barking at the fucking, his, his girl. Yo, my nigga Charles from Vibe, the worker, comes out of fucking Vibe and starts just stomping the motherfucker. <laughs> stomping dude out. And just hitting him. Taking it to him. And he's like, yo, Mike, get the fuck out of here. You know? Because who knows if someone's seen that on like Subway that was near the hip hop shop vibe. Who knows if they seen some shit. So he's like, yo, fuck out of here. He don't want the cops coming and shit like that. You know what I mean? So we skid out a lot of that motherfucker. And I'm pissed. I'm pissed, yo. I'm just so fucking pissed. Because this dude just yoked me up and was haunting me for fucking drugs. I'm like, fuck. I'm so fucking mad, right? So I get to the fucking um, bus terminal. I'm chilling at the bus terminal. And I just, I, I had a shitty track phone. Anyone know what track phones are? Knows that they're completely shit. So I get the track phone out and I, 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 I call my fucking moms. <laughs> I call my mom and I'm just like, yo, mom, I've been in altercation. I'm fucking pissed. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? Come to my house. I want to talk to you about it. You all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm just pissed. This dude, you know, just so fucking angry, man. You know what I mean? And um, Tasha's all consoling me and shit. And uh, her, her cousin is just like, I was getting ready to stomp nigga out with you. And he wasn't no pussy nigga. He would have had my back. But Charles, the store vibe, just came out and stomped dude out. And yeah, man, that's basically the whole story. I was just so pissed. Never seen that dude around the city after that. I was absolutely livid. I want to end him right there, yo. I'm not joking. I Just thinking that I'm, I'm black and that I'm dressed a certain way. And who I'm rolling with, he thinks I'm a fucking drug dealer, I guess. You know, and that really pissed me off. Now, I wasn't thinking at, at the time, but what if that was a fucking cop? Because a lot of fucking jakes do that shit. They pretend to be a fucking fiend or whatever and ask niggas for drugs so they can make arrests. But, yo, he wasn't no cop just by his demeanor and the way he was, you know, it couldn't have been no fucking cop. That really pissed me off. Like, how are you going to follow somebody and just assume they have drugs? It's so fucked up. And I just lost it. When he pulled my shirt, reflexes just socked the nigga to the floor. That really pissed me off. And I hit that nigga as hard as I could. You know what I mean? I busted his nose. I know I did that because I've seen him bleeding before. Charles came out and put the fucking boots to the nigga, but yep, yeah, that's the whole story. <laughs> and nothing else to really say. Got more stories coming for that ass, so I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all niggas on the flip side. Peace.